All right, what's up everybody? How we doing? Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Is it evening anywhere yet? I guess maybe super far out east it's like evening maybe. But anyways, welcome into our community showcase. Again, hopefully everyone is having a good start to your weekend. And yeah, we have a lot of fun stuff to look over today. If you look at the description, we have a boatload of mods to look at and that's where we're gonna start today we have to start with the mods because they uh they are giants in the realm of community showcase today uh, in comparison to the uh the parks and the workshop items the workshop items and parks are or, uh, zoo excuse me are really really good uh, really high quality stuff but yeah no the uh the amount of mods that we have are just like whoa so <laughs> what's up everybody it's cj rassic is here what's up jay rassic haven't seen you in a little bit you were uh out on assignment for a few months gotcha gotcha got seth what's up seth hey so Silver Fox, thanks for holding down the fort today. I know that Seabris is out in the middle of the sticks right now. And she thought that she was going to be able to have internet, but uh, turns out that there is no internet out there. She said that she can barely load uh, a GIF, basically, a GIF, a Jiffy, a peanut butter sandwich. She can barely load that, let alone a YouTube stream, so that's all right. That's all right. Hey, well, how are we doing, Christina uh, Kezia, basic builder? How are we doing? ZSH plays. What's up, buddy? Yeah, we're going to look at your awesome build today as well. BZ's here. We're going to look at BZ's uh, Zoo 2. And yeah, again, like I said, we have a lot of fun stuff to look over. So let me unpause. And yeah, we're going to jump in with mods. Mods. Hey, mods. We're doing mods. Okay, mods. Sounds good, mods. So, <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to do it this way. We're going to go through each animal one by one um, through the list because, like I said, there's a boatload of them. Again, if you look at the description down below, you're just going to see how many there are. There are so many. <laughs> there are so many. Uh, so the first one, though, let's start off <clears throat> with our... Let me click you. Yeah. There we go. The Banded Mongoose. The Banded Mongoose and Silver Fox, apologies, this is going to be out of order. <laughs> it's going to be a little out of order as a result of doing it this way, so apologies to, for you jumping all around there. Um, but this is going to be from Mega Gaming Rex. Where'd it go? There it is. So look at these. Look at these. The Banded, or is it Baned? It's either Baned or Banded uh, Mongoose. Hey, it's John Vert. How you doing? Hey, Peter. So there it is. Look at it sitting there, hanging out, looking like a... A thing. <laughs> so there's that one. In the, oh, it does like what the meerkats do. There you go. Look at that. It digs. It digs just like the meerkats. Where's it gonna pop up at? Let's see. Take your uh, take your bets now. Place your bets. Place your bets. Where's it gonna pop up at? <clears throat> oh God, whale! <laughs> there's so many animals around. It's hard to like uh, not see the other ones pop out. But anyway, so yeah, there's the uh, Bane mongoose. So oh, here it goes uh, from Mega Gaming Rex. So nice, nice. Next up is going to be this thing. <laughs> this, these things right here, the Anomalacaris Caras. Yep, that one. And that is from Leaf and Erica. So there you go, we have two of those here. So there's the first one wobbling around. I feel like these, you see these in the sea, right? Or in the ocean or something like that. This looks like some some like sea anemones, some ancient prehistoric sea anemones or something. I don't know, they're creepy and I'm glad that they're extinct. I'll be honest, they're, they're creepy looking, man. You're scary. But there you go, from Leaf and Erica. Cool looking little thingies. Next mod. And don't forget, these are all standalone mods as well, right? So you can download these and put these in your zoos. No replacement mods today. So next up we have the Thomas Doma, which is otherwise known as the alternate Gariel, right? Or the false Gariel, excuse me, the far, false uh, Gariel. So here's the Tommy Thomas Doma. <laughs> uh, look at the coloring on this. I love the bright orange. That's crazy looking. And this is from uh, Brett 007 Wastikin and Giorno Pizza. We've seen a lot. There's actually a whole bunch from Giorno Pizza today that they've helped in or helped uh, or made directly themselves. But yeah, look at the coloring on that. That looks pretty cool. I'm not sure what the other one is. I'm sure we'll stumble upon it uh, throughout the uh, throughout the day here. So yeah, really unique looking uh, Gariel there. Next mod. Oh, here we go. This one's really cool looking. The Eurasian Wolf. The Eurasian Wolf is going to be from... There it is, Havoc and Gaboy. They like to swim a lot, I noticed. The the Yersh oops, the Yersian wolves, they like to uh, swim around a whole bunch. But look at this, they're beautiful looking. Actually, I'm gonna move you out of the water because you were kind of always swimming for some reason. Let's move them out of the water. Oh, nice placement. Dinner is served. 
But yeah, look at the fur texture and coloring on this. Oh, it's just waking up, huh? But look at this, yeah, from, again, Havoc and Gaboy. This looks really, really good. This is the uh, female. I think the male might have a bit of a different fur variation. We'll have to keep an eye on uh, You know what? I can just do it like this. I forgot I can do it like this. Eurasian Wolf and the male. Let's take a look. There it is. Oh, yeah, and it's, like, bigger, too. It's a lot bigger, too. But, yeah, I love, again, the fur and everything else. So, yeah, if you want to get some different wolf species in your zoos, there's the uh, Eurasian uh, Wolf. So good stuff from Havoc and Gabboy. Next one. Long-tailed Goral, which looks like a goat. <laughs> it looks like a goat. So, oh God, the terror bird came in. Uh, but <laughs> we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, here we have, what was this called again? The Long-tailed Goral. And this is from Leaf. It's from our buddy Leaf. So there you go. There is the male. I love the eyes on there. The eyes are kind of almost evil looking a little bit and then here's what the female yep here's the female so there you go look really cool so what another um goat species essentially so yeah nice oh you're late yeah what the heck leaf what the heck no you're good we just got we've shown off like two of your mods i think next up hey what's up adam up there's our uh thumbnail winner or whatever you want to say for today they made the thumbnail uh, next mod, Yellow Bellied Marmo. Marmot? Marmot, probably, yeah, Marmot. But look at this, it's like a gopher. Looks like a little gopher dude. So yeah, here's the Yellow Bellied Marmot. And that's gonna be from... Where are you at? You're near the bottom. From Plastic Fork! And I love the look of this thing. Again, it's like a little gopher-looking thing. <laughs> you can make remake uh, Caddyshack now. That's awesome. And then here's the uh, the other version of it. So yeah, good stuff from Plastic Fork. I think there's another um, another thing from Plastic Fork to look at today as well. Cool. All right. Next one. Oh, I love this one. Yeah, the hooded uh, Mergenser duck. Probably mispronounced that one. We're going to have to look for both of these, the male and female, because they definitely look different. But here, oh, look. Oh, I thought it was standing on the water. I was going to call it a Jesus duck. Um, oh, come on, camera. There we go. Uh, but here is the male, which I think is the, like, prettier, quote-unquote, looking one. Oh, and this was by... Where is it? Bum, 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 bum. Where is it? Main Bobcat, da-da-da. Oh, there it is. Okay, from, uh, yeah, Ron Marin and Bongo Hardwood. I don't know why it took me forever to find it. Um, yeah, from Bongo Hardwood and Ron Marin. So there's the male. Oh, let's find the female, because she'll look different. I'll look a little... Oh, I think she's right there. Yep, there it is. And then there's the female. So really cool. I love the getting more ducks and uh, geese and birds and stuff like that inside the uh, zoos. Ah, Rihanna. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there's a few more things from them as well, so that's good to know. Cool. All right, next up. All right, getting about halfway through the list. Only halfway. That's awesome. The Bobcat. Oh, and this looks so good. Now, was this a remake? I feel like this was a remake of uh, one of the replacement mods. But either way, uh, yeah, this looks really good. And the Bobcat is going to be from Plastic Fork. Again, yeah, I knew we had more stuff to look at from Plastic Fork, but you look at how this looks. I'm actually going to pause it. So you kind of appreciate that. Look at that. All the fur textures and the eyes and everything. Look, I love the eyes. That looks really good. Hey, Harry. Welcome in, buddy. There's that one. And then let's find the female. Because it looks a little bit different as well. And then the female. Here we go. Look at how beautiful these are. These are awesome. So, yeah, definitely get these in your zoo. This is making me want to make a North American zoo. Like a specific, like, North American animal, like, preservation type zoo or something like that. Or I guess, yeah, it'd be called more of a nature reserve. But, yeah, like a North American nature reserve. Man, I love all the North American animals we're getting. Someone's going to come correct me now and tell me that bobcats aren't North American animals. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they are. But, yeah, really good stuff there. Really, really good stuff for the, for the bobcat from Plastic, uh, plastic Forks. Is the king of North American fauna without question. Good to know. Good to know. Nice. Uh, cool. Next up. After the Bob... The Bobcat. Hey, Becca. 
is the White Bellied Pangolin. This is from the Nerd Squad, the Nerd Duo that just started a really cool series on YouTube, of course, from Leaf and Lion Rider. They just started, what was it, Cape Britain Zoo, right? I'm about halfway through watching the uh, the episode right now, but yep, the dynamic duo coming in with a mod here and with a new uh, YouTube series, so check that out. But yeah, here's the white-bellied pangolin. Look at this little thing. Look at this little thing. There's Oh, it's even making little noises. Get out of here. <laughs> Capri, that's right, yeah. Yep, I'm about halfway through watching that. I gotta finish that probably tonight. So there's the male. And let's see, is that the female right there? Nope, definitely not. There's the male, and here is the female. I think they look pretty much the same, but that's okay. Nice. Hey, what's up, Bold? Hey, ZZ. So there you go. There's the pangolins doing what they do best, right? Sleeping. Just sleepings. Yeah, such cool critters. Right? I didn't even know there was that many, you know, different subspecies of them and stuff, but makes sense. Nice. All right, next up we have... I did that. There it is. Oh, this one was beautiful. Oops, I downloaded two uh, males on X, or got two males on accident. I think they re look relatively the same though. But here is the, which leopard was this? The Persian leopard from Havoc, Gaboy, and Mega Gaming Rex. But look at the work and detail that went into this. Holy guacamole. Let me get the sun a little bit differently. Most of the animals are facing this way. I'm not gonna lie, like this might be one of my favorite mods that I've seen as far as like quality and stuff goes. This might be one of my favorites. I just, I love the way that this looks. Look at that, get out. <laughs> that looks amazing. Hey, Zoof. Yeah, oh, isn't that pretty? Yeah, the thing's huge, it is pretty dang big, yeah. But, ah, excuse me, I have to get a drink of my Dr. Peppa. It's so fluffy! <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Really good stuff um, from uh, Havoc, Gaboy, and Mega Gaming Rex. Yeah, they're so good at leopards. Never knew there were so many types. No, me neither. Like, seeing all the different ones uh, pop up on the uh, on Nexus is really cool. Seems like every other week there's a new uh, leopard coming out. <laughs> Heck yeah, so good stuff there. Uh, next one, so we did that, that, all right. Oh, this is the Zabubafu, right? We have Zabubafu from uh, Lion Rider and Leaf, if I remember right. <laughs> but yeah, the Hills Ruffed Lemur. Um, yeah, from Leaf and Lion Rider. Oh good, they're right next to each other as well. Nice. Hey, Claire. Yeah, here we go, another lemur species. And right, this is uh, Zabumafu. <laughs> oh, look at the eyes, that's so, so pretty. Yep, clean yourself, there you go. So there is the uh, female. And I think the male looks uh, pretty much the same, but you still get a look at it there. There you go, take a little nap. <laughs> so yeah, really good from Lion Rider and Leaf. I love this uh, this lemur here. I love this lemur. <laughs> I really want to make... We have so many different types of lemur, uh, lemurs now between the mods and the you know official base game and um, uh, expansions and everything. You can make a really nice like lemur island or lemur uh, building or something like that. Yeah, don't correct me. Everything I say is canon. Zoos need to change the, uh, around me. How about that? Bam! <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> that's really good stuff there. So uh, next animals, Next Danimal. Are Danimals still a thing? Anyone remember Danimals? Terror Bird! Terror Bird. We have two different Terror Birds. So here's a prehistoric burb. Look at, this, look at this thing. It's just looking at you like, uh-uh. Don't even. So Terror Bird is brought to you by... <laughs> that's name is Terror Bird. Um, Natty, MGR, Narwhaler, Gerardo Pizza, and Seth! Seth! <laughs> so yeah, heck yeah. So there is the uh, male, and here's the female prowling around. Look, it looks like these wolves are like, they're working together with the Terror Bird. <laughs> oh no, the duck is... We have a possessed duck, everyone. The power of duck Christ compels you. All right, that's okay. Oh, but yeah, look, it looks like they're pack hunting with the terror bird. That's so cool. But yeah, look at this burb. We have a decent amount of um, prehistoric animals now. We definitely have enough prehistoric animals that you all could get going on a uh, Jurassic Park, prehistoric park of some, some park. Oh yeah, there's so many mods today. 
There's so many mods and a good, I mean, look at our billboard set. It keeps going and going and going. We'll do a flyby of that before we uh, we head out so all the modders can uh, get their, their due. Let's see, their terror bird, Usuri Brown Bear. This is another one that caught my eye for looking awesome. Oh, oh, as I hype you up, this is the, this is how you're gonna present yourself. Do you need to talk to someone? So anyways, this is the Usuri Brown Bear from Havoc and Gabboy. And um, yeah, so there it is. This is totally normal bear behavior. Why don't we just, why don't we just take you there, little guy, and let's put you back on land over here, and we'll just kind of do a reset, all right? We'll do a hard reset on being a bear. Now, everyone, let's let's help reprogram this bear. Okay, you are a bear. You are not a statue that goes that just nosedives in the middle of a pond. You are a bear. More specifically, an Usuri bear that was made by Gaboy and Havoc. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. We got him. There's the uh, there's the male. Look at this. Go and do the sit thing. Yeah, doing the sit thing. That's what they do in the wild. They just go out in the middle of the lake and do a handstand. I, I feel you. I feel you. Total natural bear behavior. Here's another natural bear behavior. Here's some more natural bear behavior from the female. He's vibing, you're right. It's total vibe. It is a total vibe, but uh, <laughs> but overall they look really good, so good stuff there. Nice. Next up. Did that, did that, did that, did that. Oh, here we go. Holy guacamole. Leaf did it, everyone. Leaf did it. Right? This is just Leaf, right? Let's see. Blue whale. Oh, Leaf and Erica. That's right. Leaf and Erica. Oh my gosh, calm down. There we go. So we have the blue whales from, yeah, Leaf and Erica. And they are the entire reason I had to expand out our uh, lake area. I had to, it was originally like only this big and the whales just weren't having it. So I had to expand our lake area out substantially. Let me, uh, you know, we can't really see what the hell's going on in here, can we? <laughs> Let's get this a little bit more. There we go. There we go. I'm no scientist, but that bear is black. Well, I think you're right. I'm also not a scientist, so I can't really comment on that. But yeah. Um, but yeah, here we are with the blue whale from Leaf and Erica. So those of you that want to get the big old blue whale, maybe you're doing like an ocean build of some sort. And there you go. You have the whales, whales at your disposal. <laughs> nice. Good stuff. All right. Next up. We're getting near to the bottom of the mod list. Terror, but yeah, we are actually. We have two more in this habitat, then we have one more to show off overall. Taking the kids to uh, the lake today since it's my first day back home in two months. Hey, enjoy the lake, uh, J Rassic. Good to uh, see you again and everything. And hopefully, we see some more J Rassic builds submitted to the community showcase in the next coming weeks. Have a good one. He's zooming. He does. Yeah, he's, he's doing the zoom for sure. He do zoom like that, though. <laughs> but next up here, we have Tyson, the American Wolverine. And this American Wolverine is from Bubbly Wombs and Leaf. And this is another one that's just like, oh. Oh, it looks so good. Another one that can go into a North American type zoo or uh, preservation or something. So yeah, we've seen a few things from Bubbly Wombs over the weeks. So that's really cool. Um, but yeah, there is the male. Let's see if the female is hanging out anywhere around here. Ah, I don't really see it. Let's go to this menu to do that. Always like to show off the two sexes just in case they're different which it does looks like this one's a little bit different yeah it does have a little bit different uh, fur variation there you go look at that L little guy don't let their cute little faces uh, fool you though these things are vicious this is cute but yeah it'll kill it'll just rip you to shreds all the discovery channel shows i've seen about these things they are just vicious bungholes that's their scientific name vicious bungholius <laughs> and last up did i say who that was from by the way um yeah bubbly wombs and leaf yeah we've seen a lot of stuff from bubbly wombs and of course leaf too but last one's gonna be the wood bison oh this was another one of my favorites who is this one by uh bubbly wombs and leaf again yeah nice no wonder it is so the last one this is the wood bison so this is just another uh species of bison i'm assuming oh because we have the american bison in game right so this is the wood bison now where does the wood bison 
uh, kind of hang out in. Is a, or a mountain bison, often called the wood buffalo or mountain buffalo, is a distinct northern subspecies of ecotype of the American bison. Its original range includes much of the boreal forest regions of Alaska, Yukon, Western Northwest Territories, uh, British Columbia. Oh, so like out west. I got you. And the bison is kind of more like plains. Neat. T-I-L. It looks like he has a mohawk a little bit. That's a dew, man. That's a dew right there. Doo -doo. Hey, Sunny Spacecraft. Welcome in. Isn't that great? And here's the other one. Here's the uh, female. <clears throat> here's the female. Oh, don't those look awesome? Yeah, the quality of... You're, no kidding, Bold, right? The quality of mods is just... Phew, just always going up and up and up. So, cool. All right, well, that is almost all the mods. We actually have one more special mod to show off, but... To show it off, we had to put it in a special captive area, and it had to be under guard. So we have over here our last mod that we had to show off. It's gonna be the Canadian Goose. But again, it's not like, you know, if you know Canadian geese as well as I do, you know that we can't just put them with other animals for the other animal's safety, even terror bird, even the leopard. So I had to build the Canadian geese their own special security lockdown area to show them off. And they also, again, they have roving, roaming patrols all the time, 24 seven. So, yeah, again, if you don't know about Canadian geese, just know that this is for everyone's protection around them. So, but anyways, um, here we have the Canadian geese. Oh, and I love this. This is so good. It goes really well with like the ducks and everything. So, uh, but this is going to be from Bongo, right? It's, uh, yeah, from Bongo Hardwood. Yeah, the guards, we have to have guards. And even them, they, they get paid, you know, their insurance rates for the guards are astronomical. You don't even want to know. But look at how it moves and everything. Oh, it looks so freaking good. The jerks, yeah, they are. Um, but again, not to take away from Bongo's outstanding mod, because this is, look at how great this is. I should have let them have babies. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to turn on the, the babies, because our babies look really, really good, too. Um, there we go. Aging and birth, right? And that should do it. Cool. So they will go hit there. So <laughs> screams in pain. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. They look relatively the same, but yeah, I love the movements on them. Um, yeah, they look really, really good. So cool. They're mean, but you still want to pet them. Of course, of course, right? But that's where they. That's how they lure you in. But yeah, just if you again, if you're not familiar with Canadian geese and their buttholery, then just look up on youtube like canadian geese you know terror videos or something like that so uh but no really good stuff from bongo there so hey modders holy cow y'all came through in droves this week so here are the let's get the sun in the right direction uh here's the modders that we showcased this week be sure go um, endorse their uh, hard work go download uh, uh download it from the nexus workshop comment on it um, there's even, you know, a lot of them have PayPal links as well. So if you see a modder that comes up a lot, you have some extra bucks, you know, that you want to throw their way, definitely consider donating to them as well because they do put in countless hours for you all to get free mods. Um, and yeah, don't forget to endorse as well on Nexus because that also, um, you know, helps them out incredibly uh, a lot to get their, uh, their art push to the front page and everything so awesome really good stuff there from the modders and can't wait to see what y'all come up with next week it's always there's always like another uh, each week it's just like there's another uh jump in the level of quality of mods it seems so did you miss the eurasian brown bear um, oh you know what good call i don't think i have that in here do i thank you for pointing that out yes good call buddy and that's why, to all streamers and content creators, I recommend getting a good mod crew. <laughs> yep, there it is, too. I just totally forgot to put it in. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now, for the bear's safety, we'll put them in the giant pen and not the pen with the uh, geese. Again, for the, the bear's safety. Do, 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 do. Did MGR get two billboards? Oh, well, they're just, they're just that special. All right, they're just that special. <laughs> All right, who's the Eurasian from? That's from Havoc and Gaboy again. Havoc 1199 in Gaboy. Nice. What's the dinosaur looking bird? It's called Terror Bird. <laughs> it's literally called Terror Bird. Um, again, if you uh, want to check out any of these um, in more detail, all the, all the links are down in the description down below. Uh, but look at this big old boy. So there you go, the Eurasian brown bear. That's awesome looking. 
That's really cool. So this is the female. Where'd the male go? Couldn't have gone that far. Oh, look, it's already swimming. Already swimming. And here's the male. Always love all the... Wait, how many bear species do we have now? There's something weird about this lake. There's something weird about this lake that's making the bears do possess things. That's okay. <laughs> so, cool. All right, y'all. Hey, we're going to go ahead and move on from um, the mods. And let's go check out the workshop items. Which, again, there's not that many. There's five. There are five workshop items in total. But the quality of them is outstanding. So, there you go. At the way we're going, we're gonna have every single bear. I mean, why not, right? At this point, <laughs> I feel like we have over half the bear species in, in the entire world. We're gonna need um, people who've done like bear sanctuaries and stuff. They're gonna have to redo. Oh, did you have a, oh yeah, you did the uh, terror bear. That's right, Seth. But yeah, people who did bear sanctuaries got to go back and do some more, uh, add some more bears in. So anyways, onto the workshop um, area. So the first one up, we have the Swamp Boat from Basic Builder. I love this. Uh, a lot of you have gotten into the Swamp Build since SDN and I kind of picked up um, the uh, the Swamp Build again. Beyond Wolf, I forgot the name of the project. Uh, Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve, been seeing a lot of bar mill builds and Swamp Builds and a whole bunch of fun stuff. But yeah, I've uh, been watching Basic Builder's uh, Swamp Build as well. And yeah, he made this awesome Swamp Boat here. Gotta love it. <laughs> Gotta love it. Yeah, it's perfect, right? It's perfect. Look at all the details on here. Got the lobster cages. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. So there you go. You can use that in a whole bunch of different areas. And you know what's always good too is uh, it's easily recolorable, right? The bottom over here, just you know, select the, the individual board pieces. Really easily recolorable to go around and do that. So yeah, good stuff from Basic Builder. Really uh, good usable piece. Next up, oh, this was really cool. From ZSH Plays, we have the Temple of the Scarab Beetle exhibit. So here you go, nice uh, kind of Middle Eastern, uh, using the uh, the Africa pack, the North Africa pack there, uh, really well. And then yeah, if we look in, we got our scarab beetles. I like how they put the exhibits so close together, so it almost looks like one, doesn't it? Um, really cool masking right here of this uh, lattice piece in between. But yeah, it almost looks like one giant um, exhibit as it goes through. So yeah, again, really good use of all the plaster pieces and the new Africa pack um, foliage. I love this plant, I always, nit Nitrolia, the nitri Nitraria, the Nitraria plant. It's like my favorite, it's like my favorite. And I always love seeing the scarab beetles too, because are we on pause? Yeah, because you can actually see them doing stuff. There it is. There's only two in each one, but we can actually see both of them actually in one shot. Look at that, one's going up the, uh, the rock there and the other one's doing what it does best. You push that dung. Yeah, heave, heave, go. Go! That's awesome. That's one of the few animals I feel like you can actually see them every single time you go in there. They're also part of a desert biome, so it makes it a little bit easier. But anyways, really good stuff there from ZS ZSH Plays. Do, do, do. Uh, I was getting uh, too familiar with those bar oh, the barrels. Yeah. Nope, it's all the water's fault. Cool, cool. Hey, next up from Lucas, we have some climbing structures. So this is chimpanzee climbing frame one, indicating we're going to get multiple frames like this. But yeah, Lucas has given us, again, some really cool uh, climbing frames for your chimpanzee. So if you kind of sink it down a little bit, so it looks a little bit better. But yeah, there you go. So you can go and put that inside your chimpanzee exhibits, either indoor or outdoor, and uh, kind of theme it up, and it'll be really good. So yeah, really good stuff from Lucas. We're going to see some more from them later on, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to see a diorama from them, actually. So nice, really good. Next up, oh, we got ZZ. It's easy coming in hot with, oh, you know, I need to load up your descriptions, ZZ, because you um, describe every single animal that we have here, so I don't have to guess. There we go. So that one. So if you saw last week, ZZ um, put out one of the uh, uh, plushie pack, and uh, yeah, they're kind of continuing that into a, a series here. So uh, cool. Let's take a look and see what we have. So this is going to be the South American plushie pack in front of us. So these are yeah two different ones. Here's the South American plushie pack. And in this pack, um, let's see here. So the this pack includes 20 South American animals that are perfect for a gift shop. Enjoy, I'm just reading off the uh, workshop page. Credit, uh, plushy bases are by Keyboard Keeper. The plushy packs are by Keyboard Keeper as well. Um, and the order from left to right. All right, let's put it up here. You have the Southern Tamandua, Spectacled Bear, Maned Wolf, Mountain Tapir, South American Tapir, Spectacled Cayman, Black Cayman, Orn Ornico Crocodile, the Scarlet Ibis, the Red-Footed Tortoise, 
Tufted Capuchin Monkey, Ecuadorian Squirrel Monkey, Black Howler Monkey, Bolivian Gray Titi Monkey, White Face Saki Monkey, how many monkeys are there in the world? Darwin's Ray, Ocelot, Pompous Deer, Alpaca, and the Kinkajou. There you go. So there is the South American plushie pack. And then next to it, we have the European plushie pack. Well, these look cool. <laughs> so this pack includes 20 um, South American. Uh oh, ZZ, update your European plushie pack. It says this includes 20 South American animals that are perfect for the gift shops. <laughs> you control C and control V, but you forgot to edit the description. Um, the order from left to right is the, here we go. Alpine Ebix, the Red Fox, the European Badger, the Wiscent, the Eurasian Wolf, the Eurasian Brown Bear, Red Deer, uh, the Pyrenean Kamoi, Kamoi, Iberian Lynx, European Moose, Wild Bear, and the Mute Swan. Really good. So yeah, those of you that are making gift shops, you have more, uh, I guess you say gift shop specific um, plushies. So if you have like a North American area or a South American area, you can get South American plushies in there and everything. They're really nice. So there you go from ZZ. <laughs> and rounding out, of course, is Seth with his Dinorama. <laughs> it's the weekly Dinorama. And this week we have the Australo Titan Dinorama. Australo Titan? Yeah. That one. So yeah, we have a big old dinosaur dinorama to add to your uh, to your set there for uh, for Seth's dinorama. So hey, yeah, really good stuff there. Again, not too many uh, workshop subscription or uh, items submitted, but a really good quality for each one, right? So yeah, really good stuff. So there you go. There are all the items. And don't forget, next week, I hope that we have more vehicles. I think that's the challenge out right now. Remember last week we were talking about wanting to get more backstage, like realistic vehicles or um, maybe more like parking lot vehicles that look a bit more realistic than what's out there now. So that's kind of the uh, challenge if you're up to it to kind of make us some different vehicles to put around everyone's zoos. So nice. All right, let's go ahead and check out some heckin zoos, projects. It's the largest dinosaur from Australia. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I figured it had something to do with Australia, but yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Seth, you never stop making these, so we can uh, always get to hear Drew try to say that. Yes, that, that's what. That's the only reason that they're uh, he's making them at this point, right? Just to try and find the most ridiculous named ones to try and troll me. I see how it is. I say, hey, what's up, Savannah? Good to see you. You got a pack coming? Heck yeah, dude! I can't wait. Can't wait. All right. So normally I save the thumbnail like. Uh, the thumbnail photo build for the last one, but I love this build so much. We have to show it up now. <laughs> it's so creative, and I haven't seen anything like it in the uh, in the game yet. So I we have to show it off now. So here we go. We have the Monopoly board habitat from Adam Up, and I know Adam Up is here. Uh, but look at this; it's an actual habitat and everything too. You see the people in the background? That gives you a, a size of the or sense of the scale. But look at the just detail and amazing work that went into this. This is so cool. <laughs> in jail, we got the people in jail. <laughs> That's so neat. Do 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 do. Yeah, good luck, Bold. Yeah. Hey, Livy, what's up there? But look at they did this perfectly. The board looks per. I love that it's actually a habitat too. We'll get to that in just a minute. But yeah, look, they even have the little uh, town in the middle. Yeah, this is really good, everyone. Yeah, make sure you're uh, favoriting and liking this. I mean, obviously, you don't do all of them, but... Yeah, this this just the uh, attention to detail with, you know, Chance, Fleet Street... <laughs> Coventry Street, the waterworks... We're doing a slow pan for this one. And I love that you put the little houses out there, too. The, uh, the green and red houses and the hotels and everything. So cool. All right, let's start to go down here a little bit. Again, the sense of scale for this is ginormous. Like it's, it's you know, lifelike scale, essentially. Yeah, next level. Yes, that's a good way to put it. Next level. Look, okay, here we go. We have the burgers and fries. And this is all, you know, again, here's, here's a person over here. So as we're down in here, you just kind of get the sense of, you know, uh, yeah, just this the scale, just to repeat myself a million times over. Uh, but here we go. Look at this in indoor area for the restaurant. You have the balloon. 
And yeah, right, those are not billboards. Good point. These are not billboards. These are indeed items made from in-game things. So there's a primitive circle, you know, a lot of art shapes. Yep, good call, Bold. Oh man, you know what would be cool is if you uploaded, um, that might be kind of a lot of work, but uploaded each one of these signs and uh, all that kind of stuff up on there. Like, look at this, if you could have the Monopoly car in your zoo, I think that'd be hilarious. <laughs> you even made like the other. This looks awesome. I love the way this one looks. That's so good. So yeah, just keep that in mind as we're looking at all this stuff that it was all custom made, right? It's all custom made. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see. What do we have in the habitat? Let me just click on this. this. Oh, of course. We have some seals hanging out. Some arf arfs. There they are. There they are. <laughs> it's the Monopoly seals. <laughs> wow, that is so good. All right, let's what's over here. We have like uh, some more apartment complexes or just some, just some really nice buildings. Heck yeah. Yeah, no, this this is absolutely incredible. Just another level of uh, detail. Now, I, I hope to see some more uh, game, some more board game builds. What are some other ideas that you could do? A mermaid pupper. That's a good question. Yeah, how long did this take to make? But who's going to do the game of life? Who's going to do, uh, you know, who's going to do rat trap? Oh my gosh, someone do rat trap. Challenge. So we have the vehicle challenge going on right now. <clears throat> and now we're going to do the board game challenge. A clue board? Oh, I, I can... I hear the creative gears turning for everyone. Yeah, the game of life, yeah. Oh, Risk! Risk could be cool! You can make, like, a diorama, almost. Snakes and ladders? Oh, that... You could literally have, like, an exhibit, like, kind of... Prop, make, maybe do, like, a vertical board for snakes and ladders and have, like, an exhibit box have a snake in it or something like that. Or maybe use the snake props that Lion Rider and everyone have made. Ah, Hungry Hungry Hippos! That's perfect! Yes! Yeah, there's a lot of uh, pretty good animal puns or, you know, animal tie-ins that you could do with those. But um, but look at that! So Adam Up may have made the next wave of builds coming to Planet Zoo. The, the board game build, right? We have dioramas that are the big thing right now, but in a few weeks' time, I hope to see a bunch of board game builds start to pop up, and we'll make that the next big thing, so... Um, I stream making four of, uh, hours of spent like six hours off stream, so we're on ten hours. That's, that seems pretty reasonable for this type of build. That seems pretty reasonable. So, awesome. That's really, really fun. Really fun idea. So, and really, really well executed as well. So, good stuff. Good stuff. I hope you get a bunch of uh, downloads for that. Candyland. Oh, Candyland would be good. Candyland would be really good. Risk would be a project. It would. Could you imagine doing it like kind of a... Yeah, because you have to make every single uh, continent and... Oh, I haven't played Risk in a while. I used to play the heck out of Risk, though. One of my favorite board games. Nice. So, okay, good stuff there from Adam Up. All right, let's go in order here. Let's do the diorama next. This is from Lucas070. Speaking of dioramas being all the rage, let's take a look at uh, Lucas's take on it. I know that um, others of you are also working on dioramas as well, so can't wait to see those. But yeah, from uh, Rudy and Leaf and a few others. Um, now Lucas as well, but we have... A whole bunch of people doing these dioramas look so good. They look so good. We'll leave it on the original lighting that they left it on. But here you go. Look at this. So if you haven't seen these, but um, then yeah, basically what it sounds like, people are starting to um, make dioramas like you would see, you know, in, in real life kind of made. But yeah, in Planet Zoo, essentially. I think it really, like, the inspiration started from Parkitect. Parkitect was where it originally started. Because um, people were doing it in there, and then I think Rudy was seeing people do that, like the way they do it in Parkitect, and kind of brought it over to Planet Zoo, which it worked perfectly for. And then, yeah, obviously inspired all you amazing builders to keep doing it as well. I'm also working on a... Oh, that looks so cool. I'm working on a diorama as well, so yeah, it's definitely the, the next big thing right now. And they look so good, don't they? They look so cool. Especially, yeah, if you kind of do like a, a time lapse of it, or like a, a day time lapse kind of thing as the shadows go overtake it. Yeah, it looks really, really cool. Yeah, really cool, right? Yeah, so definitely go in favor. Look, you have the, the wolves hanging out there, too. Good use of, um, and I think people forget to use this tactic a lot, but really good use of the paths here. See how they use the mulch 
pathing underneath here. Um, so yeah, don't forget on flat or certain sections, it's really cool idea to kind of tie in the bits of mulch uh, pathing because yeah, it works really well. Um, the in-game mulch pieces that we have, um, what do we have? You type in, right? It's just called mulch. Yeah, like this is okay, and we can recolor it too, right? No, we can't. So that's why it's not good. <laughs> it's okay. That's why it's a solid okay. If we could recolor it, then oh, game changer. Um, but yeah, if you compare the two, this is just really dark. Um, but the in-game path kind of has like the different wood chips and actually looks like mulch and everything. So, um, but anyways, yeah, these are really, really cool. Look really, really cool. So yeah, good stuff from Lucas. And again, hopefully we see some more uh, dioramas uh, in the future there. Yeah, it's a really cool concept, isn't it? Yeah, the soil layers. I think that's um, a really cool... Um, yeah, thanks, uh, Silver Fox. <laughs> uh, I think the layering of the soil is a really big selling point for it as well. That's a really hard detail uh, to kind of pull off there. Cool, all right, last up, and this was a last minute submission, but that is definitely okay because uh, we had a little bit of a shorter showcase today. Um, but that is perfectly fine because I have an Italian festival to go to uh, today and tomorrow. Italia Festiana, I think that's what it's called. Let me get the pronunciation <laughs> a little bit better. But yeah, there's an Italian festival that goes on every single year uh, in our town and it's this weekend. So we are gonna go get some Italian food and see some Italian, uh, I think like dances and bands and stuff like that. Yeah, Festa Italiana. There it is. Nonprofit. There you go. Cool. Promotes the Italian culture through social events, works of charity, and educational activities throughout the community. So yeah, it sounds really fun. I've been to it a few times when I was a kid to ride the rides, but I haven't been to it as an adult yet. So I want to go there and see what kind of Italian beer I can get. <laughs> as well as munch or just uh, barf out on food. I love Italian food. Who's streaming today? I don't know. I'm not sure if S. Dan is or not. Yeah, I'm not sure if he is. I know Savannah is tomorrow. Um, Basic Builder was this morning and I have to catch up with it. I can never catch Basic Builder uh, live on Saturdays. I don't know if I'll ever be able to either because we're usually busy um, on Saturday morning. We like to do like all of our, uh, anything like adult, as in like being an adult <laughs> that we need to take care of over the weekend. We're like, okay, Saturday morning, just wake up and do it. So it's like doing the dishes, vacuuming, running out and doing errands if we have to go to the store or something like that. It's like right when we wake up, which is usually around 7 or 8 a.m., we just go and then we're done for the weekend. We can don't have to worry about it kind of thing. But yeah, it's right during the middle of Basic Builders, uh, 10 a.m. for me, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, stream. So yeah, if anyone needs a early morning Saturday stream, Seems like Basic Builder's doing that every Saturday, doing the, uh, doing the swamp. Your town has a Polish festival that's usually great. I think we have one of those as well. Yeah, we, we have so many cultures in our, uh, in our big city here. So, yeah, we try and have a bunch of them. And then on top of the culture festivals, we also have the Midwest festivals, which is like the county fairs and the, the city fairs as well. A lot of, well, there's a lot of, like, little rural towns around my main big city so they all put on their own fairs for a weekend they're all exactly the same like they are, they must all hire the exact same like carnival <laughs> like you know promoter or whatever it is because <clears throat> they all have the exact same rise the exact same like funnel cake shop the exact same you know, stage setup and stuff like that but it's always fun it's always fun to go they usually get like some country star or like rock star from like 15 years ago that had like one hit wonder for you know, one summer during 2002, they're like, hey, everyone, welcome in. Who was Skank? I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember them from when they had that one song when I was like two. That was awesome. They could probably only, that's the only people they can hire or afford. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. Now you can tell this is going to be a good one because it took forever to load. So that means that there's a lot of pieces and a lot of detail and work in here. So this is going to be the coastal building from Bayzy. Wouldn't be a showcase without a Bayzy build, would it? So nice. Let's go ahead and head into Waterworld. I'm going to change the date or the, there we go, a little bit. You thought I said Costco? <laughs> Up here, the coastal. Welcome to Costco. We have all your fish needs. Not like that, though. Not like that. But let's go ahead in. Let's head into coastal. Oh, there's a little bit of a description you had for this, right? This is like a build off of um, Adventureland. 
Coastal building at Adventureland. Yeah, it comes from with the penguins. Waterworld as a whole is still a work in progress, but this building in particular is complete. I also have the reshade mod for the fever tree, I believe, so if you don't have that, ignore all the terrible grain trees. Heard. We're going to ignore all the terrible grain trees then. I don't think I have that installed. <laughs> Welcome to Costco. I love you. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Welcome to Costco. I love you. <laughs> I love Idiocracy. Whoa, look at this building. Oh, I love the pirate theme they have in it. So many zoos that I've been to, um, specifically in the Midwest, have this exact same like pirate theme for every single one of their shows. <clears throat> for like penguins or seals or whatever. I love this design that you made up here too. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, I just think it's funny that you chose pirate theme because again, it's. I just feel like I'm a, I'm a kid again going to the zoo seeing the seal show. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got... I got a bug in my throat. I got a frog in my throat. There we go. Yeah, this is a dam. Yeah, this is this is definitely a dam. D -d 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 dam. Oh, look at the outdoor. Look at you got the <laughs> the rafts floating by. Oh, the penguins go out there too. Oh heck yeah, man. You know I can immediately like smell this building. Yeah, that sounds weird, but like I can hear and smell how loud both ways this building is, and hearing and it's loud both ways. This looks so good, dude. Yeah, this is really nice. Really nice. Gotta love that new grass. Gotta love that new uh, Drin Grass Large. Really pulls together a lot of stuff. So yeah, really nice there. Now let's see, there was a, yeah, there's exhibits as well back here. Look at this. Look at that. I love the glass underneath here so you get a really cool look um, at the bottom part of it as well. That's a good point, Bull. I didn't even uh, process that until you mentioned that. I honestly thought that this was the new tiling that we got from the Africa pack. I think you used in here. Wow, actually, yeah, you did. Look at the tiling that they used, the North African ceramic tiles. I just uh, automatically assume that that's what this was as well, but you're right. It's that, was it the Indian uh, path or whatever? Or the palace tile path. Yeah, it's one of those that's really hard for certain build types to use and then i like those two meter bridge going across as well that's really nice all right let's head over oh that's this little uh, sunbathing area oh yeah oh yeah let's have a look at the exterior as well oh yeah look at the exterior all the, the lush foliage all the lush landscaping now could you imagine if you were just out like oh that's so cool if you were out uh on a little tube like this just tubing down the river and you just got the tube right past these penguins hanging out that's a really cool idea, actually. <laughs> That's a really cool idea. Oh, cool, there you go. And I know you said that everything else is really work in progress, so I won't show off many um, other things, but we'll just get a little quick glimpse, a little teaser shot of what's going on around here. Oh, a little pool area going on, a little pool action. We're cheating for Adventureland a little bit. <laughs> oh, wow, look at the... Okay, so here's what you are talking about before with the yellow fever tree mod. Yeah, I know they, there's a really cool mod for these yellow fever trees to make them green and they look more natural, not so uh, radiated, essentially. Like, they don't look bad, in my opinion, for what they are, but they like the, the trunk of the tree does look a little, like, radiated, so... Cool. All right, well, yeah, like I said, we won't show off the rest of it because they uh, kind of respect to the builder. You know, they said it's work in progress, so won't show off work in progress stuff. But hey, there we go, the little sneaky peeky of uh, what BZ is kind of working on there. So yeah, really good stuff. I love the coastal building, really good. So, um, but yeah, there you go, everyone. So that's gonna go ahead and wrap up uh, this week's community showcase. Again, don't forget, we have some challenges for you all if you uh, have been watching this long. What'd you make the roof out of? Hold on a second, before I keep, look at it, we have to note this, by the way. Custom roof, made from the Arctic Architecture Square. Can you change the color of this? No, but it works perfectly. But yeah, custom roof. Oh. So, but anyways, yeah, remember, uh, this week, we have two challenges out right now. We have the, uh, or the, uh, we have the vehicle challenge. There it is. Words sometimes formulate. Uh, we have the vehicle challenge for the realistic vehicles. Um, and then we also have the challenge for the, uh, the board games. So let's do the board game challenge and the 
vehicle challenge and i guess like um as a community overall uh the diorama challenge is still out there as well right the diorama builds that i think everyone is kind of taking it upon themselves to build and everything that are looking really cool. So if you want to do any three of those, let's make those the focus of our next uh, coming build week here. The vehicles, the board games, and the dioramas. Can't wait to see what y'all come up with. Um, and yeah, so and if um, as well, if you're not already uh, join into our discord you want to submit things that is how you do it join up into our discord uh head over to the community showcase uh kind of tab and everything and then yeah submit your things there and we will uh, showcase them every saturday at 11 a.m central standard time so cool hey thanks so much everyone for submitting your items thanks everyone for uh, heading over and favoriting those items and liking them and supporting the creators and everything and yeah hey we will see you all next saturday don't forget tomorrow uh sunday at 7 p.m central time 8 p.m eastern we have dnd it's what we Week six, week six of our uh, campaign, and things are really starting to heat up. So don't feel like just because it's episode six that you've like, oh, I can never, like, I don't know what's going to be going on. We do a, a quick run through um, before the campaign starts each night and everything so you can get caught up. And yeah, it's just getting really good right now, I, um, I have to say. So yeah, don't forget tomorrow night over on Twitch slash Digital DM, uh, join myself, John T from Geekism, Mass Bandit John, and Duct Tape Forum Devin uh, for the DD uh, 8 p.m. Eastern there. So, hey, thanks so much, everyone. We'll catch you next week.